Oh, welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to uh, do some more work on the base. Um, so I am currently uh, making concrete blocks and have, um, let's see, have uh, this many made up. So we have a total of 172. And so the first order of business here is that we are going to uh, finish out the floor in this room in particular because this is where our garage is going to be. So I don't know if I'm going to have enough blocks to do this or not, but we are going to find out uh, pretty quickly here. So let's start putting these in. Okay, so uh, we got the floor done. Now what I want to do is remove this column. And uh, hopefully that doesn't cause us any structural integrity problems. I guess we're going to find out here real quick. Okay, that takes care of that. Um, now we just need to put in these pieces here. And we have 10 blocks left over, plus what I was still uh, making over there. So that's good. All right, let's get rid of this stuff. Not sure what I'm going to do over here quite yet. All right. Now, my original intent was to leave some of this furniture here in the in the hallway, but um, actually these hallways are going to turn into essentially like a little indoor road to travel along. And so that being the case... Um, we no longer need all this crap in here. But let me grab my this and this to get start taking some of this stuff out of here.
Okay. So I got all of the extra crap um, out of the way and made a couple changes up on the ceiling there. So now I think it's time for some paint. Let's go grab ourselves a uh, paintbrush and some paint. And we're going to try and fix uh, some of the screw-ups that, uh, that I did too. Let's see, I need... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, I want to make some wood frames. We have one... Let's, make 19 so we have a total of 20 and uh, let's see we have a few more of these put those on there oh looks like our power just went out or our fuel rather uh, which made the power go out let's see here grab this get this off of here All right, I'm probably going to have to do something different with this because it's sticking out into the hallway. Uh, let's see, what we could maybe do is... Hmm, we can't, well, yeah, we could probably stick it in that corner. Um... All of these toolboxes don't need to be here. In fact, they're kind of really just more decoration at the moment. Uh, but we might, we're probably going to want to move those into the garage area anyways. So let's, let's pick these up. And we're just going to put them back in here for now. A miscellaneous chest. Okay, and then why don't we, that's got some fuel in it. Okay, that took care of that. Okay, we'll pick this up. We're going to need to move these doesn't look like either one of them have anything in them and then we'll stick that there um now ooh that's going to stick out th three blocks one, two, three, and also one, two, three. Okay, so it's not going to fit in that corner. Hmm. So what we could do is move the maintenance station. Well, hold on. One, two, three. This is one, two... <laughs> One, two, three, four. That's not going to work either. I was going to say um, maybe slide all of, turn this this way and slide them all down there, but definitely makes sense to put this in the corner though. So let me let me think about this, and I'll bring you guys back when I come up with a solution. Okay, the solution is that we are going to take the mechanics table and we're going to move it to the garage because it's actually not a table we use very often uh, anyways. Plus it fits more, uh, it'll fit more to put something like that in the garage. I mean, we, we really only will use this on occasion to to make vehicle types of things, which again is a, a pretty rare occurrence, not a not a day-to-day -day thing. 
so we can afford to move this elsewhere. You know, the other thing I could do, too, is we got a lot of room in here. We could just put this in here so it's not quite as far away. Um, actually, yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this in here, even if just temporarily. Um, it's not necessarily going to stay in here ultimately. Because I don't really want to start putting stuff in the garage area until we get it painted. So let's just put the mechanics table there for now. Right, now that gives us enough room on this end. We still have... Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll put the maintenance station over here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay, so let's pick this up. Why is everything damaged in here? Must, must have hit it with vehicles or something. I don't know. Okay, and then we will take and move this over a block. To there. And, uh, oh, I got a bunch of stuff in here. Let's melt all this stuff down first. Now we can pick this up. Um, this is probably going to make me too heavy, so let's be over here so where we can just pivot and put it in place. Oh, we can still move, fortunately. Uh, Roberta the robotic drone, I think you are in the way. Bye then, for now. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, let's drop a couple things off because we're super heavy right now. All right, now you will go here. That'll work. And we have, we still have these, uh, a couple mortar and pestles, so I could either, um, if we try and put those here, we could put one there. I'd like to put that on top of something. What do we have in here that might work for that? Clothing shelf. Equipment racks. Shelf. Shelf shelves. What if... Okay, I'm either thinking maybe this shelf here. Or even maybe one of these, but I don't know if it'll look right on top of the tool chest because it's not a, a full width block. Let's just see what it looks like. Yeah, it's not going to work. Okay. Um, actually, you know what, too? We might have the same problem with this shelf. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to put a normal block down and then maybe paint it to look like a cabinet. That could work. So let's just upgrade that to wood. So let's grab a paintbrush here and... Grab some paint from out of here. All right, so let's go to here and I want to paint this to look 
like a an industrial type of cabinet. So maybe like this type of look. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Let's do an eyedropper here and hit that thingy. Okay, so for the floor in here. Um, I think... That I want this to be kind of a, you know, almost an asphalt looking material because this is going to be like a driveway. There's pill case side, concrete gray, carpet, drop ceiling. Uh, we're we're going to use that actually for the ceiling. Black TV screen is too shiny. What does pillowcase side look like? That's prop. Well, I don't like the gloss though on it. Is the problem? It doesn't look right. All right. What other options do we have? We just tried that. Carpet or drop ceiling, neither one of those are going to work. Yeah, I mean, black TV screen would be okay, except for that it's glossy too, you know? I mean, I suppose we could just keep using this metal floor. Uh, you know, this, like, um, tread, tread type of thing. What did I do for our asphalt look up here? I don't remember. You know, for our runway that we built. That's the, I think that's the tar paper texture. I don't know how that's going to look in here. I guess it could work. It's the closest thing I think we're going to get to an asphalt type of look. All right, well, before I commit to this, because I have been known to waste paint. <laughs> Uh, and I still got to fix that too. Are there, is there any other potential options here? And black granite's just not going to cut the mustard. I'm not really seeing anything else that I think is going to work well for what I want to accomplish here. So limited in our options. Oh, excuse me, guys. And we tried Pilke side. That's the one that's glossy. What does concrete gray look like? I mean, that's actually potentially usable too. Hmm. Almost like that better. Yeah, maybe we'll go with this. Maybe we'll go with this. Okay, so what I want to do then is I want to paint this surface. It's sort of kind of doing it, sort of kind of not.
right. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, and then yeah, I think uh I think we want this room to also be the same. There we go. We'll have to do a little bit of changing over there. It, it definitely darkens things up in here, but we're gonna we're gonna put some lighting in here anyway. Um okay, so let's just go back to normal brush for that. And uh, yeah. Okay, so that takes care of the floor. We're gonna we're gonna do the black tile on the roof as always, and then I have to figure out what the hallway walls are gonna look like. But I need to go AFK, so I will I'm gonna stop the recording, go do my thing, and then I'll come back later and continue on. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, guys. Um it is the next day for me in real life. I had to stop part way through the recording and so we're picking it up the next day in the evening <clears throat> and so let's see we let's see last uh thing we did was we painted the floor this uh gray concrete color which i think works okay for what we're trying to do and so now what we're gonna do is we need to figure out the walls and the ceiling so the ceiling's gonna be easy because we're basically just going to use this texture here and we're going to use the paint roller for a larger surface and if we just go right down the center here it should paint up nicely we'll have to figure out what we're going to do with the um the side pieces there Okay, so that takes care of the ceiling down through the hallways anyways. Um, I think we'll probably just do the same thing for here too. Uh, so once again, let's just get the paint roller. Um, we might do something different like on the on these pieces later. We'll have to see. I think I am going to do something different along the these little trim pieces, though. Okay, so for the trim pieces, let's take a look and see what options we have. <clears throat> um, we could maybe do the black TV screen for those pieces. The thing is, though, is I need to, I need to kind of fix my screw up with the, with that. How much paint do I have? Um, to do that, we're gonna have to. This is gonna use a crap ton of paint, but we're gonna go into the creative menu, and what I'm gonna do is. Uh, we need to find the right texture to replace that with, which I think is probably that stuff right there. Let's go over and look on this side real quick. I wish it was daytime right now, but I don't have a lot of time, so i got to get this done. Yeah, I think this is the texture we want to use. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, texture pick that and we're going to and th this even this is going to paint a bunch of things incorrectly but it's going to get things closer um, so we want to choose um, paint to see which one is it not paint all sides very good paint surface Copy block. Replace paint. Yeah. 
So this is going to use a hell of a lot of paint, <clears throat> but basically what we're telling the game to do is um, replace this in any place in this POI that's touching this POI that's this, uh, which is the black TV screen, replace it with this. All right, here we go. Of course, it lags a lot because it takes a long time to, to do that. But it fixes the side of the building. Well, I guess it didn't use that much paint. So it it's still not perfect, though, because we're going to have to come along now and and do some, you know, further touch-up to get it completely correct. But it gets up back closer to the where, you know, to where it should have been. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to here. Um, no, wait a second. We're going to go back to here. So we're back on an individual paintbrush. And then we're going to go back to black TV screen. And I want to paint these rails. I want the rails to be black because I think that looks good. And I think I want this concrete surface just to be this texture. So let's texture pick that. And then we'll do paint roller. And hit the middle pieces there. And then just touch up the sides here. Now, um, for this, let's texture pick that. And this has to be set back whoop, to that uh, paint there. Now, there's going to be a lot of other places um, along the building that I'm going to have to do that two as well, but I'm not going to do all that right now. It's just going to take too long. It'll probably be off-camera stuff. Okay, so let's go back into here now. I'm surprised that didn't use more paint than it did. Or maybe it's because I'm in creative mode and paint's free. But the problem is that I can't... I don't have that tool that I just use if I'm not in creative mode, so I kind of don't have much of a choice. I have to use it. Oh, uh, and we don't need to be in creative mode any longer either, so let's disable that. Okay. Now, um, we need to work on these trim pieces here. And I kind of, actually, I don't really mind them being this color here. Uh, we're going to want to do all sides, though. Well, wait a minute. No, we're not going to want to do all sides. We just want to do this side. Except that that appears... Oh, i got to turn it back off. Okay. Um, let's get these other wood pieces here. You know, actually, probably before I work on the trim, I should I should figure out the walls first. Okay. Um, so, for the walls, we could just stick with this concrete look, I suppose. Um, but let's, let's look in here. What else might look good? We could go with, I like, I've always liked these, you know, stone, the stone brick look here. Let's just consider that for a minute. Um, we're going to want to do this. Not necessarily on that corner there, but we're like kind of the base on the wall. That could work. 
I'm not totally convinced I like that, though. I think part of the problem, though, is it doesn't look right with this wainscoting. So, here, let's do, let's go back to this. And go back to single brush. No! Single brush. Damn it, Jim! What if we did this? Um, go back to here. Oh, I just screwed up the ceiling there. Okay, but then here, let's go down a little bit further. But then we go and change. There's also the smaller concrete block look too. Let's go back to single. Oh no, that's the same thing we were using. And put this along the bottom. I kind of like that. I think. That's not terrible. Yeah, I'm I I think I like that. I think I can live with that. Okay. And then um we need to put a small block there. Uh, so probably this one here. Except for that needs to, what if we do copy rotation? There we go. I don't have any wood blinks on me. Huh? What's up with that? Yeah. All right, now for this, I was thinking Maybe going with the black TV screen idea. And I think we if we do that, we are going to want to paint all sides. I'm not convinced, but let's just do go down a ways so we can kind of get the overall flavor of it. That doesn't look bad. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking that the trim piece up here should stay this same, the same color as the wall, because it kind of gets kind of gets lost a little bit with the black roof. So let's texture pick that. And go back and do it this way. We're gonna lose a little bit of that trim that we had on, that it had on there. Um, this here, I'm not even sure how to do that. Let's here, let's try something. Let's texture pick that and go back to single surface. Why is it doing that? It's it's still like doing it on all sides. Um, just do. Oh, I always forget. You got to turn it off on the cube thingy. If 
think I like what's going on here. So let's do all sides. Well, I guess we didn't need to at that point. <clears throat> Okay, um, now can I, let's turn all sides off, can I texture pick this, I guess that's a separate paintable strip there, right, there we go. Yeah, it's not going to let us do it right there. We'd have to replace... Right, because there used to be a column here, but I took it out to make more room. Um, all right. Then why don't we... I don't think we necessarily have to put a concrete block in there. What we do need to do, though, is copy this shape and copy that rotation. There we go. And then that can go there, and that can go there. There we go. That fix this, fixes that. Uh, we don't really need need to worry about it coming out onto the pillar there. In fact, this pillar really needs to go too because it's inconsistent with the rest of the hallway. So let's do the same thing over here. We're gonna have to repair our jackhammer here. Yep. And it looks like we're also thirsty, too. I'm going to put that in there. This stone in here. Most of those back in there because it's heavy. Let's go get something to eat and drink. Um, how about if we have some tuna fish gravy toast? Let's take care of that. Um, for the corner piece. There's probably a block that would work there, but it's not doing that over on this side either. So I think we're going to leave it the way it is. It does look a little bit odd though, doesn't it? What if we, yeah, what if we did this? What if we copy that and do clean all sides and just did something like that? I think that could work. I'm not 100% convinced, though. Um, we're also kind of missing the wood trim along in there, but... Let's do this. Uh, extra picker, turn off, paint all sides. 
and fix that. That looks good. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, I think I like that arrangement for the wall. So obviously I'm going to have to come along and do the same thing <clears throat> on all the other walls, which is going to take a little while. Probably what I'll do is I'll, you know, use like the the paint roller for, for this, because this is the largest texture, and go and do the whole wall with that, and then come back and get the little trim pieces later. But I'm not going to do that all on camera. It's just going to take too long. So, in here. Now, um, I want to... I'm thinking about something, actually. Here, let's look. Let's go to the block menu. Except for we're going to need... We don't need concrete blocks. Oh, I've got some right there. Also, we have more concrete mix. Let's take about half of that. And make a few more of those. Now, what I was, what I'd like to do is, you know, maybe make some parking spaces. But I don't necessarily at all want to use the width of an entire block to, like, paint the stripes. So what we could maybe do, if we look at this... And we'll go to Deco Design. Catwalks, poles, wedge, trim. Okay, so yeah, this is this is potentially something that could work for us. Because what this is doing is it's striping like half the block instead of all of it the quarter side yeah that could that could be the ticket right there Um, so this could be, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, here. That wall could be removed. That would give us four parking spots. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. do is texture pick this and then um, we're going to want to go to here and grab what does that look like Oh no, that looks like terrible. That looks terrible. Uh, I think what we want to do is go to fabric lines. And this makes our white stripes. Well, 
like so. All right, now let's go down and grab our dune runner and our mining cart and bring those up here and just see how well they fit in those spots. squeeze through there. Uh, I need to get those pillars out of the way too. Seems pretty good. I don't think I'd want it any tighter than that. Um, you know, we could even do this, potentially do this stripe thing down the hallway too, just to make like center line stripes, like a roadway kind of idea. All right, let's go get the mining cart. Yeah, that pillar is definitely going to need to go. That's just light. So, it's a little tight, but I think it works for the most part. And, you know, now that I, I look at this some more, I think we're going to have to completely remove this wall and utilize all of this space, too, because, you know, if we, um, if we make any more vehicles... Well, we don't... Okay, we don't have to do that right now. Because I might, I don't know if I'm going to actually make any more vehicles. I, I want to make the helicopter, the big the big chopper for sure. Maybe the big dump truck. I don't know. That's going to cost a lot of money. Excuse me, guys. But for, you know, for just land vehicles or regular car types of vehicles, it'd be kind of fun to maybe fix up either, say, like a cop car or maybe the, you know, the Plymouth Duster type of thing too. So... But we have room to expand, so we could we could get rid of all this stuff and expand over into this area as well. But uh, yeah, I think that gets us kind of going on more or less on the the uh, design that I I had in mind. And I think I'm I, I like the way these walls are coming together here. So I'm going to have to go around and and do all of the other walls. I'm going to have to remove these pillars you know, this pillar here out of the way, just because we need all that width to, you know, get through here with the vehicles. And then, um, I might, we might set up like a little mechanic type shop thing over around in here, move the mechanics bin over here and put some toolboxes up just to kind of make it look more like a garage. And, uh, you know, I've got more stuff that I have to fix up and around in here, too. Now, I'm thinking... I'm thinking what I'd like to maybe do here is... Why don't we go back to this texture here? Texture pick that and... Just 
Just so it's not all the same exact thing up there, you know. Add a little bit more character to it. Yeah. I think I like that. Uh, it might even... I, I think it looks okay over here, but, you know, when we're, when we're in this indented area, it almost seems like we should do it the sides of this too so that looks more like a you know a support beam I guess going across but then leave the indented area the hanging hanging ceiling look plus it you know it'll help brighten things up in here a little bit more too if we do that yeah I might I might remove that wood molding altogether anyways along through there so but yeah you kind of get the idea if we just look at it over here and uh, along through here I like I, I think I like that look better and we'll put some light some lighting in here too of course So anyway, you get the idea there. All right, guys. Well, um, so yeah, I think this this look right down here is going to be, you know, our final our final look. But again, I have a lot of work to do, you know, to get the rest of this fixed up over here. But I, I kind of like, you know, how this is coming together with the... Uh, our little parking spots and everything. And again, I might, um, I keep saying again and again and again, I might put some stripes down the center of this too. Perhaps still pondering whether or not I want to actually do it that way. And I'm also thinking that I want to Let's see, texture pick that. I want this part to also be the quote unquote roadway look. And maybe even out here too, really. And then just have this part of the floor be the the metal uh, the metal look. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm going to work off camera to get the rest of this fixed up, you know, so it looks like this, you know, this setup right here. And uh, how am I doing on paint? Yeah, it's getting down there, but we still have, I think we probably have enough to finish, uh, finish that. And then um, I'm not sure what we'll do in the next episode. We've got We've got um, another tier five to do. I think Horde Night's coming up tomorrow. Because, let's see, we did it on 140, then we did it on 147, and so 154. Yeah, Horde Night's tomorrow, and we need to go uh, We need to go get the, the Horde base repaired, too. So probably in the next episode, we will... The, the tentative plan will be that we'll go repair the Horde base, and then probably do the Horde Knight in the next episode. I'm thinking. Um, and if that goes quickly enough, we might even get started then on the next Tier 5. And then we'll come back and work on this some more. So, as usual, you know, we'll mix things up a little bit. I don't want to... Yeah, this, this wasn't really a very exciting episode, but it's part of my goal for this series is to, you know, get this Deshong Tower, at least, you know, the top floor that we're living on, completely fixed up the way that I have envisioned to do it. So that's the plan. All right, guys. Well, with that being said, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video. And we shall catch you in the next episode. See ya.